Maryland when the gunman came into the newsroom and started shooting. ABC News correspondent from Annapolis, Maryland, Phil Yakabuski joins us. Phil, good morning. What's the latest? Good morning. We've learned that Jared Ramos killed five employees of the Capitalist, uh, Capitol newspaper uh, here in Annapolis. Uh, we're told that he's now charged with five counts of first-degree murder, according to investigators. Police are calling that a targeted attack uh, in the newspaper's offices uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, they say he was armed with a shotgun and smoke grenades as he shot out the front windows of the building and then stormed the building. How was he finally captured? <clears throat> well, investigators say that they went into the newsroom. They were here almost within 60 seconds, uh, but we are told that when they got into the newsroom, uh, he was hiding underneath a desk, and he put up no fight. He did not wave his gun at police or anything like that. Uh, he was immediately taken into custody. Was he out of ammunition? Why did he finally stop and sit under a desk? That's unclear. We hope to learn more about uh, in a news conference uh, later this morning from police uh, here uh, in Annapolis. He did, though, have a beef with the newspaper, we are told, over a story that was filed a number of years ago. He had filed a defamation suit against them. That case was later dismissed by a judge. A spokesperson for the police department tells us that they actually received a complaint from the newspaper staff back in 2013, and they looked into it. Uh, apparently no charges were filed, but that is the last time that they had any sort of uh, contact with him regarding this. He had no prior criminal record. Uh, he had a degree in uh, computer engineering and uh, at one point worked for the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Hmm. Um, in terms of the newspaper, I was reading that um, uh, we're all in the news business. The news must continue. And there were some people in the newsroom who were defiant that the newspaper would be put out today. Do they have an addition today? Yes, they do. Uh, and they've dedicated one of their pages entirely to uh, the people who were killed, along with the pictures on the front pages of that newspaper. The journal was pretty remarkable yesterday, uh, live tweeting as this happened. Uh, this happened in an office building that is across the street from a very large shopping mall here uh, in Annapolis. And it's a building that houses... Uh, professional space, doctor's offices, lawyer's offices, things like that. And when it initially happened, we didn't know where it was happening, but we quickly learned where because of the journalists that were putting out information, saying that at one point uh, the gunman was in the newsroom, he was firing shots, and that he actually stopped and reloading. They were talking about on Twitter how chilling it was to listen to that and be fearful for their lives as they were underneath desks uh, waiting for this to be over. And is that why authorities were able to get there so fast? Well, I think that's one of the reasons. Uh, the mayor uh, talked about an active shooter drill that was just held probably about six days ago. So this was all very fresh in the minds of the first responders here in Annapolis, Maryland. Again, Annapolis being the state capital of Maryland, not too far from the Naval Academy here on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, so this is a pretty tight-knit community. Uh, there are a lot of uh, spaces here where these types of things could happen. Uh, so they were pretty well staffed and ready to go uh, when they heard that shots were fired. Phil, everyone wants to put their own philosophical bias on this story because of what's going on around the world. But tell us about the newspaper. What kind of newspaper is it? This is a local community newspaper. It's a community newspaper actually that merged from being one of, uh, not one of, the nation's oldest newspapers. In fact, when the Gazette was around back in the 1700s, it published a copy of the Declaration of Independence. So that's what it's morphed from. But they cover all of the local government news here in Annapolis, high school sports, uh, things that go on, uh, city council meetings, you know, water problems, sewer problems, local crime and such. But uh, this is a newspaper, again, that covers the community. So uh, political bias, I think that was being talked about yesterday, but we quickly learned uh, once Ramos was charged and, and once he was being talked about as a suspect that this, in fact, uh, was happening. Uh, one of its former editors uh, said that he was the one who initially called police a number of years ago because he was fearful that Ramos was capable of doing something like this. Phil Yakabuski, ABC News correspondent in Annapolis, Maryland. Phil, thanks for checking in. Thank you. 6.53 here. Big